Life is finite and what you are doing with life is important. Many people underestimate that 24 hours in a day is too much and yet they crave about lack of time. No wonder as they age, they have many repents and regrets in their life because they did not invest their time wisely the way they invested their money. They wanted to be a dollar billionaire and did not reap benefits of being a time billionaire. Time billionaire is a phrase coined by Graham Duncan. According to him, everybody has at least 1 million seconds to live. In 11 days, we have 1 million seconds and in 31 years, we have 1 billion seconds. So assume a lifespan of 80. A person starting his career in 20s has at least 2 billion seconds to live. And even at 50, when people started to think about retirement, you have at least 1 billion seconds to live. If salaries are paid in time, not in dollar, many dollar billionaires would like to be time billionaire first. They would like to buy back time in order to gain life experiences, which they couldn't because their focus was on building wealth. As professionals age, they also have many repents and regrets in life because they have taken their work, job and career too seriously and missing attending family events, kids parent teacher meeting, even working from hotel room during vacation and not standing with their nears and dears when they needed it. And worse, their focus is so much on money that they try to accumulate leaves in order to have leave encashment later on and instead they should have used that leave for life enrichment and building memories. You could argue that a billion dollar can buy time. Yes, it could, but that will be too late in your life. India's ace investor Rakesh Junjunwala, who recently passed away around the age of 60, insisted that one should invest our time wisely rather than solely focus on money. In one of his last interview, he said, my worst investment has been my health and I would encourage everyone to put the most in that. Alan Watts said, it's better to have a short life full of what you like to do rather than living a long life in a miserable way. So watch my video until the end where I'm going to share five tips to become a time billionaire. And if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel, which is having more than 100 videos, then please do it. First, think time in 30 minutes chunk. Tim Arban has created a life calendar in weeks. More than 1000 weeks of your life has already passed with little to remember where you spent upon. He suggested that look at each week as one precious diamond of 0.05 carat and as you age, you will have a teaspoonful of precious diamonds. He suggested that you should enjoy your precious diamond every week and do something different so that your future diamonds and someone else's future diamond would become more enjoyable. I look into my weekly calendar in 30 minutes chunk and I prioritize what I should do in that 30 minutes cautiously. Be aware of that 30 minutes chunk and spend wisely. And this will be an excellent first step towards becoming a time billionaire. Second, two activities take highest priority. Pick up one or two chunks per day and allocate it for your fitness. Because without fitness, you are not going to enjoy your present diamond and there is no hope of enjoying your future diamond. Your physical and mental fitness is paramount and for that you need to have a fitness regime. Another important highest priority activity is to focus on kids and family. When my kids were growing up and I was busy building my career, one day my wife said, one day kids will grow up and they will leave home and one day you will retire without having any memory of kids growing up age. You will feel lonely. I acted immediately. Sahil Broom said, magic years with kids pass soon. Be present in every moment. Slow down and embrace sweetness. He further said that our time with parents start to decline after the age of 20 and so is true for our siblings. So put your 30 minutes chunk not only for your spouse or kids but also whenever you get any opportunity or occasion then be with your parents and siblings too. You will never repent later. Third, solitude and social connect. Solitude is not the same as loneliness. Loneliness is a feeling of being unwanted, emptiness of not being in a company of others. But solitude is your choice to enjoy your own company. Have self-realization, go into imagination mode, be creative, get aha moment to reflect and sometimes you are going to get 
out of box solutions to some of the nagging problem allocate few chunks in a week for solitude and so is true that you should allocate few chunks in a week for social connect when my kids were getting enrolled in a school the school principal said whenever there is a family event travel to new places or social gathering don't worry about studies you should take your kids to that place because they are going to learn much more than what they are going to learn in a school it is important that you ebb and flow between solitude and social connect fourth prioritize sleep over entertainment sleep is very important for your brain to function properly your mobile screen is winning is stealing your sleep time which is bad even netflix ceo admitted you get a show or a movie you are really dying to watch for and you end up staying up late at night so we actually compete with sleep he said about sleep being netflix number one competitor if you want to enjoy your life diamonds do not compromise on sleep and fifth have hobbies how much rewarding fulfilling and enriching your job is you have to have a hobby because hobby is also going to help you in workplace performance dr kevin ashleman psychology professor conducted a study in which he has found that the least connected an activity is to a person's profession the greater the impact is on workplace performance so you should allocate few chunks of 30 minutes in a week for your hobby so professionals you have seen by prioritizing these five activities in populating your calendar in a week you are going to become a time billionaire and then you will not have any repent and regret in your life as you age i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you